All right, here we're going to check to see if a number is divisible by 7. All right, so let's go ahead and get our first number. <clears throat> so we have the number 217. All right, so if we look at this, to determine if it's divisible by 7, we take the last digit. Okay, you take the last digit and you double it. Okay, so 7 times 2, that gives me the 14. That's multiplying by 2, same thing as doubling it. Then we take this result here and subtract it from the remaining digits. So 21 minus 14 equals 7. And 7 divided by 7 equals 1. 7 divides into this evenly, so 7 divides into the entire number evenly. Okay. Now one other thing to note, when whenever you take the last digit and you double it, and then you subtract it from the remaining digits in the number, if you subtract them, if you get 0, then that also means that 7 will divide into this number evenly. So if you get 0 or a number that 7 divides into evenly, then 7 will divide into the entire number evenly. Okay, so let's take a look at one more example. Okay, we'll, use a, we'll get a little bit bigger number. 2,254. Okay, all right. So remember, you take the last digit. Okay, take the last digit and double it. So 4 times 2 equals... 8, okay, and then what do you do? You subtract the 8 from the remaining digits, okay, subtract the 8 from the remaining digits. So 225 minus 8, that's going to be 217, okay. Well, does does 7 divide into this evenly? Okay, well, we know it does because 217 was the problem right before this. Okay, but let's suppose that you didn't know, that you couldn't really tell if 7 divides into this evenly. Well, then what you can do is do this whole process again on this number. So we take the last digit and we double it. Okay, and then we subtract it, the 14, from the remaining digits, and that leaves us with 7. And 7 divided by 7 is 1. And so that means that 7 divides into this entire number evenly. Okay, so <clears throat> if you, once you, once you get this, this number here, once you double this, subtract it from the remaining digits, and you get this number. Well, if it's too big to see if 7 divides into it again, or you know, you can't tell right off, just repeat the process. Or, yes, you could come over here and just do long division on it. Okay, so that would be 3, 21, 0, bring down the 7. 7 goes into 7 one time, that's 7, you have a remainder of 0, okay? So th those are your options, so uh, I hope this helped. Give me a like, a share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.